Welcome to this interactive tutorial on how to scan prints with Silverfast 9SE and the Epson Perfection V600. You can watch this tutorial from the beginning to the end or click the navigation icon in the player to access the different chapters of this tutorial anytime. Silverfast 9SE is specifically designed as your entry gateway to the lineup of Silverfast scan and imaging software. It contains the same processing engine and image quality algorithms as the flagship versions to considerably exceed the result of the standard software, while the range of adjustments is wide enough to bring out maximum image quality. And the best part, it's incredibly easy to learn and use. First of all, we need to place our print on the flatbed of the Epson Perfection V600. We want to make sure the cover for the transparency unit is inserted into the lid of the scanner and the white surface is facing the glass. We want to place our print face down onto the glass so the photograph is facing the CCD of our scanner. And close the lid. Back in Silverfast SE, we need to make sure to choose the right scanning mode in case we've been scanning slides or negatives prior. The settings for the scan mode are located on top of the tool dock. We will choose the reflective scan mode by choosing Reflective from the three options in the menu. Next, we will leave the setting to positive since it's the only option we can choose when scanning reflectives. Also, we will leave the next setting at the default 48 to 24 bit for now and cover the available options for the bit depth and frame settings later in the chapter Bit Depth Settings. In the Silverfast SE main dialog, the first thing you will notice is the all white preview area. So we want to perform a pre scan via the pre scan button, all the way on the left of the toolbar on top. A pre-scan is basically a low-resolution scan of the whole flatbed area to give us an overview of what is on the glass of the scanner. Also, a pre-scan will never be saved as a scan to your hard drive. That would be the final or high-resolution scan. A final scan is almost never a scan of the whole flatbed, which would take too much time in a high resolution. As a first step, we want to tell the scanner the area of the flatbed to scan in the higher resolution which would be the area where we have placed our photo on the glass of the scanner. We can do so by adjusting the red scan frame in our preview window by moving our mouse cursor over either a corner or any of the four edges. And once the cursor has changed, we can drag our scan frame by click and hold to the edge of our photo on the preview area. Don't worry if you have placed the print a little bit skewed on the glass. We can rotate our scan frame by clicking and holding the small handles on any of the four edges to adjust the scan frame accordingly. If we have more than one original place on the flatbed, we can simply draw additional frames by clicking and holding anywhere in the preview area, which will add multiple scan frames to scan them away later as a batch in one go. It's important to note that each new scan frame will have individual settings, and every new scan frame will start with default settings. We can toggle between the different scan frames in our preview area by simply clicking once into the scan frame we want to select and edit further in Silverfast. If you find yourself drawing each scan frame manually, to be a pretty tedious task, we can go to the Frame button on top of the tool dock and choose Find Frames, All Frames, to trigger the automatic frame finder of Silverfast SE. This feature will find all originals placed on the flatbed automatically and create an individual scan frame for each one. By the way, there's no rule you always have to adjust the scan frames exactly to the edge of each photo on our flatbed. You can move or resize the scan frame to any possible dimension, if for example you only want to scan part of your print as a crop. 
the frame button offers lots more options to manage or change the current frames in the preview area, like selecting the next or previous frame, deleting the currently active frame, or all frames. If you want to copy all settings of the currently active frame to all other frames in the preview area, you can choose Copy Settings to All Frames, further reset all settings of the currently active frame, maximize the frame to the whole area of the flatbed, or change the orientation. In this step, we will choose the right settings to scan a print with Silverfast SE, so we can have it reprinted in a lab or share it in an email as an attachment with a relative, loved one, or longtime friend. First, we'll click on frame number two to make it our active frame and click on the magnifying icon in the vertical toolbar to zoom into the preview area to only show our currently active scan frame. As mentioned earlier, all currently active tools for editing images are listed in the tool dock as widgets. As one of the default widgets is the scan dimensions always positioned on top of the tool dock, and we can set everything that affects the file name, file format, location to save the file, format and orientation, as well as the resolution for the final scan. We'll enter a name, and choose JPEG as file format in our example. By clicking on the folder icon, we will be prompted with a dialog to choose the destination to save the file of the scanned print and the location selected will be displayed under a path. The next setting is called Format, and when clicking on the entry, we will be prompted with a number of preset output format options to choose from. Let's choose the 5 by 7 inches as the output format for our example and landscape as orientation. Notice how our scan frame was automatically adjusted to reflect the ratio of a 5 by 7 inches print. We can adjust our scan frame by hovering our cursor over any of the four edges until it changes into a double sided arrow. Click and hold to drag the scan frame to the right position. Notice how this maintains the ratio of our scan frame for a 5 by 7 inch print and how the resolution slider is automatically adjusted in the scan dimensions widget to the correct input resolution for a 5 by 7 inch print in a 300 ppi photo quality. It is important to note that the layout and workflow of the Silverfast scan dimensions widget allows to apply the right resolution for your scan without ever having to touch the resolution slider yourself. So you'll always scan your print with the correct resolution. Let's see how simple it is. For our example, it shows 800 ppi as the correct input resolution to achieve a 5 by 7 inches output format in 300 ppi in the final scan. If we choose a different output resolution under Preset, the resolution slider will automatically choose the right input resolution. So you will never have to rescan a print because the resolution was set too low. Pretty cool and promise kept, we never touched the resolution slider the whole time. Okay, at this point, we would already be able to hit the scan button to create a final scan with the current settings from the Scan Dimensions widget, which would represent a perfect reproduction of our original print on the flatbed. But why stop here? Let's impress our relatives, loved ones or friends even more by applying some simple but powerful improvements to our print. Most of our prints kept in shoeboxes or photo albums have faded or shifted color-wise over the years, and we want to turn back the time by bringing back the original colors. First, we'll apply an intelligent image automatic from the top toolbar in Silverfast, conveniently located next to the pre-scan button. Notice some of the tools in Silverfast, like the image automatics, have a little triangle icon. 
which means they are actually part of a tool group. To access the other tools, you simply long click the tool and the other tools in the group will pop up to be selected, like Contrast Automatic and Automatic Color Correction, or one of the other 14 image automatics in Silverfast 9. In our example, we will apply the Auto CCR Image Automatic, which stands for Automatic Color Cast Removal. The pre-scan area will automatically preview the result in the scan frame, while any part of our original outside of the scan frame remains unchanged. With the click of one single button in Silverfast, the dominant orange color cast has been removed, the highlights and shadows have been optimized, and the midtones were slightly reduced. With the Picture Settings default widget in the tool dock, we can now fine tune our image some more to our individual taste. In our case, I want to reduce the effective brightness a little bit via the midtone slider to minus 7, reduce the overall contrast to minus 5, and carefully increase the saturation to just about 4. That's it. Since the preview is automatically updated, we can see the optimizations in real time. Now, once we've finished editing, we will perform the final scan of our original print. In the top toolbar, we click the Scan button, and the currently active scan frame will immediately be scanned and saved with the name destination, output format, and resolution selected in the Scan Dimensions widget. The Scanner Status widget on the bottom of the tool dock will display the status of the current scan, and after reaching 100%, a blue file icon will appear on the right. Clicking the icon will open the final scan of our current scan frame in the default image viewer of your operating system. Understanding bit depth settings in Silverfast 9. Silverfast's internal image quality engine starts with maximum dynamic range. You will always achieve an optimal basis for your image optimization no matter whether you are a professional or beginner. Let's take a closer look at the Bit Depth Settings menu in Silverfast. The Bit Depth icon represents three scan modes. Color, Grayscale, and Line Art. The Bit Depth Settings menu consists of three sections. The top section is for basic output purposes. Internet, email, social media, photo books, cards, stationery, etc. The middle section is for subsequent editing in third-party photo editors like Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom, Pixelmator, etc. The third section is for scanning non-destructively into the raw data concept of the Silverfast archive suite. All three sections are available in Silverfast AI Studio, Silverfast HDR Studio, and Silverfast HDR. The top and third sections are available in Silverfast SE and Silverfast SE+. This tutorial is intended to make it easy to create great images from your originals with Silverfast 9 SE by showing the essential steps to get awesome results. If you liked this tutorial and enjoyed going a little deeper into the powerful possibilities with Silverfast 9, we highly recommend the new Silverfast 9 ebook. Creating brilliant images with Silverfast is aimed at photo enthusiasts who want to digitize their collection of analog images and with it their memories. It explains the basics of reproduction technology which are still used in scanning and image processing today. The book goes far beyond what a user manual would provide and presents a lot of useful background knowledge. The book is completed by tutorial movies and numerous illustrations. Creating brilliant images with Silverfast conveys complex knowledge in an understandable way and shows how to create brilliant images through clear practical examples with the Silverfast software.